What a cool piece of art. This is made by a local artist. And one of the things that's really unique about this exhibit is that there are scientists and artists that have collaborated and collided to communicate all the different elements of water and how it is integral to our lives. This is one of the exhibits uh, made by a local artist. And then as we spin around here, we're gonna take you inside another exhibit. Of course, my tour guide, Jeff. Jeff, where are we entering? So we're entering the fog of dawn. The fog of dawn. And I the, yeah, feel like so you need to have that like you, booming voice. You, that you do need. There's drama here because drama. what this explores and what this actually shows us is how life moved at the, at the dawn of life from water to land. And, and that life was plant life and that will, life was carried from water to land on fog. Okay, inside these glass globes, looks like how it feels outside right now. It sure does. It's very humid, right? And it, was it created to try to emulate real life in some way? That's right. So these are live experiments. These also come out of research labs at Michigan State. Um, each of these terrariums was planted two weeks apart. So the one you're shooting right now is the one that was planted earliest and has the most plant life. Each of these are different stages of showing how plants grow at the seeds, the, the early, the material of those plants was carried into the soil on fog. And then this one's a little bit different. There's no fog in here, but I see, like, I, I see somebody in an astronaut outfit with this. Yeah. Well, so this is highly speculative, and one of the things that researchers at the university are exploring is how do we grow plant, how do we grow life on other planets? And so we're emulating, we, the, we're speculating as to the way in which life started on Earth, can we start life that way on other planets? I love that. So interesting. So this is all about fog and water and so many different elements here. It all opens at 10 a.m. It is at the Michigan Science Center. 